Welcome to Serpros. In this video, we're going to be looking at four network devices. These are hubs, bridges, routers, and switches. Okay, first we'll look at a simple hub. A hub's job is to connect devices in your network together. Let's see how it works. Let's say host A sends some data to host C. When a hub receives the data, it repeats it out of every port except the receiving one. Host C gets the data, but so does host B and D, so they simply discard it. The hub has many downfalls. It wastes bandwidth as we've seen when host B and D receives unwanted data. A hub uses something called half duplex which means it can't send and receive data at the same time without causing a data collision. This would cause your data to become corrupt and need to be sent again. So in overview, a hub is a layer one device, meaning it has no knowledge of addresses. All it does is repeat any data it receives. They have one collision domain and uses half duplex. This means it can't receive data and receive data at the same time. They waste bandwidth by sending data to hosts unnecessarily. It has security risks because all the hosts receive everyone's data. A malicious user could steal this. Hubs are old technology. They have now been replaced by switches, which we will take a look at shortly. Bridges were introduced to combat some of the shortcomings of hubs. They're used to segment networks into smaller sections. When data reaches the bridge, it decides whether or not to forward the data. It does this by looking at the destination and source MAC address. Every time the bridge receives data, it learns the source address, looks at the destination address, and decides to send the data or discard the data. We will look at this process in more depth when we discuss switches next, as it uses a similar process. So, a bridge is a layer two device. This means it can understand and learn MAC addresses. It segments LANs into smaller sections. It has two collision domains. This means data can be sent or received on each section of the network at the same time. A bridge usually has two ports. Bridges are not used anymore. They have also been replaced by switches. Now let's take a look at switches. Think of a switch as a hub and bridge rolled into one. It connects the devices together, but it can also learn which ports connect to which hosts. Let's see how this works. A switch has something called a MAC address table. This table will list each MAC address and which port it's connected to. In this example, host A will send some data to host C. The switch receives the data, but as you can see, the MAC address table is empty. The switch in this case will forward the data out of each port just like a hub. Unlike a hub, the switch now learns host A's MAC address can be reached on port 1. Or when host C sends data back to host A, the switch knows exactly where to send the data. Now if you notice, the switch has learned that host C's MAC address can be found on port 3. Using this process, very quickly a switch can learn how to reach each host connected to it. Let's review. A switch is a layer 2 device. Like the bridge, it can learn MAC addresses, which are known as layer 2 addresses. A switch can use full duplex, meaning it can send and receive data at the same time. This means each port has its own collision domain. This is a huge improvement over a hub. Because it can learn MAC addresses, a switch saves huge amounts of bandwidth. And now because only the destination host is receiving the data, other hosts can't steal it. Routers. You can think of routers as the doorway out of your internal network and into the outside world. To understand what routers do, let's take a familiar example. Let's say this is your home computer. This is your switch and this is your router. Now, just on a side note, usually a home router has the switch built in, but in an enterprise network, 
they're separate devices. So on the other side of the router, you have the internet. Let's say you send an email or visit a website. Your computer will send data to the router using its IP address. The router will then forward the traffic out of your home network and into the wonderful world of the internet. When data comes back, the router will forward the data back to your computer. A router is the way out of your internal network. A router uses not only MAC addresses, but also IP addresses, which means a router is a layer 3 device because IP addresses are known as layer three addresses. It usually has two ports. A router is highly configurable and has many, many different features that are beyond the scope of this video. That's it for basic network devices. You've learned about the older hubs and bridges and also the modern standard of switches and routers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and give a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.